My name is Dr. Koheli Bhattacharya and congratulations, you are above 40 if you're watching this video. So you have just crossed your 40 years and you have just realized that you're having problem seeing something nearby. So what is that called? That is called press biopia and maybe your doctor has given you reading glasses. You have just so many questions and I'm going to try and answer some of them today. So let's get into this video. So press biopia, when does that happen? That starts around the age of 40 years and what happens is that you're either uh, just turned 40 or you've been 42, 43 somewhere and now you've started to experience the symptoms. Can children get press biopia? No. If a child has a plus number, it's called hypermetropia. If someone who's never worn glasses through their life and at 40 gets plus number, then only it's press biopia. Or someone who's been wearing minus numbers and now needs reading glasses for near, that is when it's press biopia, generally after 40. Okay. So now what are the symptoms of someone who has press biopia? The first thing is, uh, doctor, I can read small print it's just that when it gets really small that's when i have a problem second thing is doctor actually i can see it's just that sometimes when i've read for a long time the the letters seem to blur or i just have a slight headache i can still read but by the end of the evening i start to like as if my eyes are getting heavy I, I just want to close them for a while and when i close my eyes and again start reading i'm fine so these are some of the beginning symptoms that it happens only by evening, it happens only for small print, it happens only when you've read for a long time that you start to see the symptoms. So you're like, no, actually I'm fine. It's just that when. So that is when, it, that's how it starts, begins, right? Uh, so what you may start doing is instead of holding the book here, you may start to see that you start to hold a book a little bit further. And the way I say that you can avoid wearing reading glasses till the time, till the length of your arms. So many men, many of my tall patients will be like, no, actually I'm fine doctor. I'm going to take it after a year. It's fine. It's fine if you don't want to wear your reading glasses right now, if you want to just exercise your arms okay so those are the first symptoms that start to set in you have a lot of confusion you are in a lot of denial and that is why this video so the first question that comes up is why why is this happening to me i am so fit i exercise i eat well i have had perfect 6 6 vision till now then why is this happening to me so the first thing is, this is not a disease. Press biopia is not a disease. It is a physiological sign of aging. We just have to, you know, open up and say we are aging. Everyone from Shah Rukh Khan to Madhuri Dixit to Tom Cruise to every politician out there to every super rich person out there has press biopia. They are using their reading glasses. So it's you are not a special snowflake. It's just happening for everyone. So that apart, why does it happen? So some of the reasons why it happens is that uh, it's accommodation. When you are trying to see far, your lens is flatter. When you try to see something near, your lens curves on its own using ciliary muscles inside the eye. So these muscles are inside the eye which help to curve the lens. So why am I saying inside the eye? Because a lot of people, a lot of yoga practitioners, a lot of eye yoga will say, why don't you move your eyeballs from side to side? That is exercising your outside muscles and that's not doing anything for your ciliary muscles. Again, they'll be like, why don't you look at a pen and move the eyeballs in and out? Again, that's the external muscles for convergence and divergence. They're not doing anything for ciliary muscles. Yes, there are certain exercises for accommodation and we're going to get into it after a while. So this mechanism of being able to curve the lens more to see nearby gets lost slowly, slowly after the age of 40. It goes on from 40 to 45 to 50 to 55 to 60 and slowly by 65 is when you slowly lose your ability to accommodate and your plus number keeps on increasing. Multiple reasons. The first is that the lens in itself starts to become inflexible, right? It's been used for the last 40 years. So it's just 
is not able to curve to this uh, ability to curve to this level. The second uh, theory is that maybe the ciliary muscles start to get tired. Uh, some say that the capsule encapsulating the lens is what starts to become rigid. So multiple theories about why it happens, but it happens, right? So presbyopia is a normal physiological thing which happens with aging. You can color your hair, you can botox your skin, but with presbyopia, uh, it's a very easy sign that you are aging. So then the next thing which everyone asks is, Doctor, I get that. How can I make it stop? How can I stop aging? How can I stop this presbyopia from setting in? And as I said, uh, well, if it's happening for everyone, there's very little research that has totally proven that this can be stopped. Some of them will say, uh, should I wear the glasses and will that help? stop the process of presbyopia or should I not wear my reading glasses and uh, exercise my lens till the maximum capacity so that uh, they stay strong. So which is better? Should I wear my uh, reading glasses or should I not wear them? What will help me to stop this problem or slow down this problem? Well, the news is such that neither of them will help. It's like a walking stick. You either use the walking stick, like you use your reading glasses. The minute you start to see that it's fading and you would like to just use reading glasses to read or you want to be like, no, I'm going to exercise my muscles. I'm going to force my, you know, lenses to work harder. I'm going to make them work till the time that they can't. And that way I'm like exercising my lens and my ciliary muscles. You can try both. Uh, but no matter what you do, your number is going to just increase. There's nothing to stop it. So you choose, are you want to do it the easy way or the hard way, either way works. Okay, so there's not much we can stop it for. Here is another thing which I tell. Okay, so the next thing is, do I need glasses all the time? And the answer to that is no. You do not need to, you can see perfectly fine for far, you don't need to wear it. You can use it as and when you want, as and when you want. Because again, many uh, patients will be like, maybe I should wear it all the time so that I relax my eyes and then they do less work and they get less tired and the number doesn't increase. So it doesn't happen like that. So these are just magnifying glasses. So first thing is you must realize it's a physiology. It's not a disease. Reading glasses are just magnifying glasses. You're just magnifying because the print seems too small for you right now. So we are just going to magnify it. Do you want to magnify it so big? No, you want to magnify it to the comfortable level at which you're comfortable. And what is a comfortable level depends on what your profession is, what kind of work you do through the day. Are you going to be putting a needle in a thread? I'm going to give you a higher number. If you're going to be a diamond merchant, I'm going to give you a higher number. If you are someone who needs their screen far and want a bigger view of life, then we give you a lesser number. If you are a priest who holds their book really low and you don't need something very close, I would give you a lesser number. So it depends on your occupation, what your reading glasses number would be, depending on your doctor and your profession. The second thing is, say you had a number for far. And now you have a number for near, meaning you had a minus whatever, a number for far, and now you have a number for near. So that is when you start wearing either bifocals. There's a video of mine on press biopic bifocals and progressives. Should you use a bifocal or should you use a progressive and how to move your head and neck when you have got press biopic glasses. The video's name is beginner's guide to press biopic progressive glasses you can check that out check that video out after this one i'm going to link it in the caption below as well so bifocals which is double number the third thing is monovision where we give one eye for far one eye for near there's a whole big complex reason why i would give that and uh, if you want a consultation with me to understand what your options are we can go over that even through video consultation and i can explain to you what your options are so monovision is an option progressive glasses where that line is not there and it will give you fairly good vision for far middle and near 
But again, do you need progressive or do you need a bifocal or do you need reading glasses? Do you need a general doctor? Uh, I, I like to call progressive glasses a general physician who treats everything or you need a specialist. A specialist is like your reading glasses because it's specialized for special work. So do you need specialist glasses or do you need a general uh, kind of glasses? So that is all that we work on in a consultation when we're talking about progressive press biopia or just press biopia if you have if you're above 40 you can have a video consultation with me about all your options the last option is contact lenses yes there are contact lenses which have these rings which allow you to see far as well as near now who can use contact lenses someone who has already used contact lenses someone who has a number for far if you have no number for far and you're like okay i just want to use uh, glasses of so that i don't need to wear glasses it doesn't work so well. I'll explain to you the reasons and the nuances when we have a video consultation because it's very nuanced. The third thing is that if you have astigmatism, if you have toric, then again there is a, a little bit of uh, effort and it's not, I don't even think that it's possible till now. They've not made contact lenses with toric and um, press biopia there are some uh, some research going on on it and yes those are options and we can discuss all of these contact lenses for press biopia in a video consultation but i'm just telling you what your options are so there is a lot of options for you uh, when you have hit 40 okay then the next thing is what exercises okay i understand i'll wear those glasses as and when i want but doctor Tell me some exercises that I can do. So there are a few exercises. Those exercises are called accommodation exercises, right? So accommodation exercises that work on the muscles inside your eyes. Some of them are you can use a flipper. You can use an RAF rule. Uh, you can also use a heart chart. So all these three exercises, I'll make a separate video because you want to know some press biopic exercises. I'll make a video on accommodation exercises for you. But having said that, now see, Shah Rukh Khan, he's made Pathan. He has eight pack abs. Now a man who's willing to work on his body to make eight pack abs, are you saying that he's not willing to work on his eyes to not wear reading glasses? But even Shah Rukh Khan, even on a film fair stage, he will remove his spectacles and wear his glasses and announce the nominations. So what I'm trying to say here is that even if you are at the peak of your health, there are chances that all the accommodation exercises in the world might not help you get rid of your reading glasses. It's just a fact of life and I think we just have to accept it after 40. Having said that, are there eye drops? So yes, there are uh, eye drops as well that can be used. Now again, these eye drops do not work on the lens or the ciliary muscle. So they're not going to stop your progression of press myopia. So how do these drops work? So these drops are pilocarpin 1.25%. What does pilocarpin do? Pilocarpin essentially makes a pinhole in your eyes. Now I've made a video before on the pinhole test or how a pinhole works but for clarity um, you know all the light is entering the eyes and a pinhole just allows one ray few rays to go and hit the uh, go and hit the macula and so because of a pinhole effect pinhole effect the pinhole effect is what makes you see clearly. Now the 1.25% of pilocarpin first is not readily available in India. At least it's not, uh, you know, made. People are making it. Uh, the second thing is, uh, if you use it in a high myope, there are chances of detachment of retina. Not very common, but I'm just letting you know. The third thing is, it can lead to headaches. Uh, especially because of the pilocarpin, which works on the iris muscles. Now, the pilocarpin works on the iris muscles, which some people say are attached to the ciliary muscles. But uh, all said and done, pilocarpin drops work when you have just started to have uh, press myopia, right? So maybe from 40 to 45 uh, to 47, max to max, it would help you. After that, 
it's it's still going to progress it's still going to go on and at some point of time you will need re reading glasses it's just um uh, what i would say it's just your ego getting in the way which says that i'm going to use the eye drops instead of just using a pair of magnifying reading glasses as and when you need it so that's my take on the eye drops would i use it personally on me maybe not definitely not but i would just try to see the difference uh, again i might use it only in one eye so that i can use that eye for near work and that again is called monovision if you want to learn more about monovision let's have a video consultation i'll explain more about it the next the last bit is food and diet i still want to do something about it what can i eat what can i not eat just eat whatever you want to eat have a good healthy diet if you're looking for good anti aging supplements for your eyes uh, a few good ones are astaxanthin resveratrol or um, even vitamin c uh, all of these are helpful lutein zeaxanthin but most of these all, or almost all of these anti aging supplements for the eyes they work on the retina they work on the macula they work on age related eye disease. these which support the retina there isn't any research much that they uh, they affect the the anti aging properties of the lens or the lens capsule or the ciliary muscles because that is where the aging happens nevertheless it's always nice to take certain supplements for the betterment of your health and for your anti aging i myself take a lot of supplements so yes so those are certain supplements which i would say you can start if you want uh they're just good for anti aging of your entire body and that is helpful this is what i wanted to say as a beginners guide to above 40 year olds for breast myopia if you know anyone who's above 40 and has got their first reading glasses get them a beautiful cake which says congratulations you are old with a pair of spectacles on top of it and forward them this uh video of mine thank you for watching and uh please subscribe and comment